Okay, now we're going to illustrate one of the final ways that you can mount this all-in-one system. We're going back to our parapet wall, and we're just going to screw it down to your parapet. This is ideally for fast installation processes where you either not got your coping metal on the top of your parapet wall as of yet, or if you're going to be replacing the parapet or the coping on top of the parapet, you can screw right through it, right into your decking. And again, it's just very similar to your low edge detail mounting. Four to six, number 14 fasteners with a minimum of an inch and a half of grip into the wood substrate. And on this one, we've got a real solid wall. We can get away with just putting four fasteners into this one. As you can see, it is very secure. We can come back at this point, double check our rail heights. Due to the fact that we are on such a tall parapet wall there, we set down as far as it will go. That leaves us approximately a 20 inch gap between the top of the parapet and our rail height center line, which in turn puts us at a 54 inch rail height. So on a parapet of this design, one rail is all that is required. You can go back and put the second rail on if you so desire, or you can get more coverage out of your existing railing by only having one, but we are completely covered up over the 42 inch minimum height.